I'm Dale Brockman. I'm a physical therapist at Gateway Rehab Hospital. I work in the outpatient therapy department. I've actually been an orthopedic physical therapist for 31 years. In our outpatient department, we treat many patients that have uh, trigger point issues. And uh, one of the treatments that can be provided for trigger points is the use of dry needling. Dry needling is the use of a uh, acupuncture type needle. It's called a dry needle because it does not have a medicine included. So it's not like a trigger point injection using cortisone. So this is a dry needle device that is actually placed into the trigger point itself to help to decrease spasm. Uh, research has shown that the use of the dry needle actually helps to reset the muscle. What happens in a case of trigger points is the muscle is actually kind of in a protective state where it actually is staying contracted. This tends to produce chemical irritation and some of the chemicals such as substance P causes pain. When the trigger point procedure is done, it actually causes an increase in blood flow which helps to rid the area of some of the irritants that are in the region. The use of dry needling should not be done as a standalone treatment. Uh, this treatment should be used uh, in complement with um, treatments such as muscle imbalance uh, work to help the person regain proper alignment. Uh, it also may include mobilizations that help the joint to come back to normal mobility. So when used with in combination with other treatments such as muscle strength training and mobilizations, this team approach can, can get the person back to normal function. And that's the overall goal of dry needling.